Hi everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and I want to just give you a quick preview, or not really a preview, but a demonstration of the new features that have just been added to my Restrict Content plugin, which is available completely for free uh, from the WordPress plugin repository, as well as from uh, my website right here, Restricted Content Plugin Free. Uh, you can find it under the plugin section, free, uh, as well as uh, under here, ver under memberships or a variety of other places. Uh, there's a free download here at the site. Uh, anyway, so it's got some cool new features that I want to show you. Um, I've done a completely rework of the plugin. And so we've got this about page right here, and we are going to restrict it. So, first of all, let me go over to that page. And this is all going to look pretty similar to anybody who's been using it before, other than the fact that this message has now been added here that tells you a little bit of how to restrict the short code. Um, but the first thing is, is that if we restrict it now, um, first of all, if you're logged in as an administrator, you're not going to see any change. But if you go now go over to another browser where you don't have access to it, you notice that it has a new message that says this is restricted to admins. Well, this is very similar to before, except now we have a new settings page over here called restrict content where we can define any one of these messages we want. So we can say that this is restricted to super users if we want save that and now I'll go back over here and now there's our new message so one of the biggest feature requests from users since this was released about almost a year and a half ago uh, was the ability to ch easily change these messages um, and it's something I just haven't been able to get around to doing and has now been done uh, so to demonstrate that a little bit further if we go in now and change this to say the author user level update it uh, we'll now see over here that this is restricted to authors because that's what I have set right here. Uh, so we can change each one of these as well. We can also change the text that's shown when you're using a short code as well as we have a user level tag that will be replaced with the actual user level uh, set in the short, short code. Uh, the other big change that I've done is it's now 100% supported for custom post types. Um, before it only worked with posts and pages, but now uh, you'll see that our meta box has actually been added to every single post type. So you can see it's right here, um, and it will work with post types even registered with other plugins. Like for example, let me go in and show you. Uh, if we register a new post type with my Easy Content Types plugin, uh, let's just call it Music, add the post type, and now go over here to our music post type that's been added. Check out the CD title. Sure enough, there's our, our post type right there. I mean, our restrict content option. So it's really cool, some new features. It's also been reworked a lot in terms of infrastructure, uh, organization as well. And uh, one of the big things that I'm doing with this is I'm going to be slowly adding some new features to it. Um, a lot of this brought on by my own need because this is actually the plugin that I'm using on Pippin's plugins uh, to actually uh, deliver member only content to my free registered members uh, who kind of have exclusive access to this. So uh, it's going to be getting some more updates here pretty soon. But anyway, so those are the updates. Uh, I hope you like them. Thanks very much.